Right then, for today's video, we're going to take a look at how we calculate the volume of a cuboid. So when we talk about volume, we're dealing with our 3D shapes. So the volume of a shape is actually how much space it actually takes up. So when we're dealing with volume, because we're working in three dimensions, our units, whatever we're working with, when we find the volume, will always be cubed. So for this first question, we've got calculate the volume of the cuboid. So the formula to find the volume of any cuboid is simply just length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So looking at this first example, the length is 5 metres, which is 2 metres. So multiplied by 2, we would then multiply by the height, which is also 2 metres. So that would go here. So we'd have 5 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2 again. But we know 5 times 2 is 10. Multiplied by 2 again would give us 20. But then we've got to make sure we're using the correct units. Well, if we look at our lengths that we used in the question, we were dealing with metres. But then because we're finding the volume, they need to be cubed. So the answer to this one would be 20 metres cubed. OK, looking at this next question, again, we've got to calculate the volume of the cuboid. So we first take our formula for volume of a cuboid, which is length times width times height. And we're just going to substitute our numbers in. So the length of this cuboid is actually 12 centimetres. We then multiply that by the width, which is 15. And then we're going to multiply that by the height, which is 25. So if we type that in on our calculator, we should get 4,500. But then we've got to remember to use the correct units. So for this example, we were dealing with centimetres, so the volume would be centimetres cubed. And that would be our answer. So this question is slightly different. This time we've got the volume of this cuboid is 19,550 metres cubed. We then have to find the length of h. So we're looking for the height of the cuboid. So again, we're going to start this just like we've done the other questions. We're going to use our formula. We know that the volume of a cuboid is length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So that must be true for this. So the length is 50. We then multiply by the width, which is 23. Then we multiply by our height, which we still don't know, which is just h. So if I type in the calculator now, 50 times 23, I get 1,150, which then I've still got to multiply by this h. So if this 1,150 multiplied by h will give us the volume of the cuboid, we also know that this is exactly the same, so I can write equals 19,550, because we were already told what the volume of the cuboid was. So I know if I do 1,000... 150 multiplied by h, we get the volume of the cuboid, which is 19,550. So now we need to find this h. So all we need to do now to find this h is just simply divide through by that 1,150. So h is going to be equal to 19,550 divided by 1,150. So if we type that into the calculator, we should get h is equal to 17. So we found the value of h, which is 17. Looking back at the question, it said to find the length. So the length, we have to make sure we include the units as well, would be 17, and we're using metres. And that would be the answer to that question. OK, we've got a very similar question again. This time we've got the volume of this cuboid is 2,970 centimetres cubed. Find the length of w. So we're looking for the width of this cuboid this time. So again, I can refer back to my formula for a cuboid, the volume of a cuboid, which is just length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So if we multiply all these sides together, that should give us the volume of the cuboid. So this would be the length is 22, which then we multiply by the width. We don't know it's still W. And then we multiply by the height, which is 15. So I'm going to simplify this. I'm going to do the 22 multiplied by 15 first. So if I type that in my calculator, I get 330. And then we've still got to multiply by this W. So 330 multiplied by W will give us the volume of this cuboid. However, again, we're told what the volume is. We know that the volume of this cuboid is 2,970. So these two things must be equal. So now, how do we find this W? All we have to do is divide through by this 330. So we'd have 2,970 divided by 330. So if we type that in our calculators, we get W would be equal to 9. So again, we know the value of W, which is 9. Looking at the question, it said to find the length. So we need to include the units as well. So for this particular question, the answer would be 9 centimetres. 
And that would be our final answer. Okay, for our last question today, we've got a bit of a problem solving question. So the question says the dimensions of a swimming pool are shown below. The pool fills at a rate of 12,500 litres per hour. If one metre cubed is equivalent to a thousand litres, how long will it take to completely fill the pool? So there's quite a few things going on in this question. To just quickly scan in through this question, we can see that we're given our metre cubed units. So we know that this question is talking about volume. So let's do that first. Let's find what the actual volume of this pool would be. So again, we refer back to our formula. The volume of a cuboid is just length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So for our question here, we've got 25 for the length multiplied by 10, which is the width, multiplied by the height, which is 2. So if we do that on the calculator, 25 times 10 multiplied by 2, we actually get 500. The volume of our pool here would be 500 metres cubed. So that's our volume of the entire pool. So then go back to the question, it says, one metre cubed is equivalent to 1,000 litres. We figured out that the volume of the pool is 500 metres cubed, so we can use that to find how many litres it would take to fill the pool. So I'm going to write that out again. I know that one metre cubed is equivalent to 1,000 litres. But we want to figure out the litres equivalent to 500 metres cubed. So because we've got an equation, we want to keep things equivalent. So how have I got from 1 to 500? Well, I've simply multiplied that by 500. And because this is an equation, because I've multiplied this side by 500, I'm also going to multiply this side by 500. So if we do 1,000 multiplied by 500, we actually get 500,000 litres. So it would take 500,000 litres to completely fill the pool. So the question actually says, how long will it take to fill the pool? Well, if we go back further up the question, it tells us that the pool fills at a rate of 12,500 litres per hour. So if we know the total amount of litres it's going to take to fill the pool, which is 500,000, and that the pool is filling at a rate of 12,500 litres per hour, all we have to do to figure out the number of hours is simply do 500,000 and divide that by the hourly flow rate, which was 12,500. And if we do that on the calculator, 500,000 divided by 12,500 is just 40. So that 40 is the number of hours it takes. So looking back to the question, how long will it take to completely fill the pool? The answer would simply be 40 hours. And that would be our final answer to that question. So well done if you followed along with those questions. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing. If there are at all any topics you'd like me to go through next, then please just let me know down in the comments. And I'll try to make some videos on those topics as soon as possible. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.